the thing is that there were, practically speaking, three things here. The traditional Cypress flamenco guitar, which evolves, I will give you an example with this here. And this is a 2009 guitar, which is like, could be considered as the following step. Following step why? Because by changing the raw material or the thing itself, there is a big change, right? Just like Paco introduced the Negra concept, the Rosewood guitar, which was only used for classical. Right? That was a modification already. A big one. But talking about female traditional sound, what I would consider the topmost is that other one, this. This is that. The guitar here offers a playability and, and a way that you can flow with the left hand, which this one cannot. But, as I was saying, between that the modernity, the update thing, and the traditional guitar, is this one, which has already a big change in it, which is that the bridge itself is extra flat. Now, this, by the way, I will harness the chance to answer your other question regarding the action. The action. Action is not only the distance between the 6th string and the, to the 12th fret when we do like this, or from the 1st string to the 12th fret, but the setting itself. And what is the setting? The setting is like the gene, the first gene, the DNA code of the guitar, right? And therefore, that will be for the equilibrium of the top, the harmony that it has, architectural harmony, between the top, the neck, how it's settled, and the bridge. We observe that if the top sinks here, or it bends because it's fresh wood, it will not only cause problems with tuning, but it's a big problem with the sound as well. Right? And that's why I don't play anymore. I learn also to play on traditional flamenco guitars. But traditional flamenco guitars is different from this thing. And I wanted to watch at the description of this video I will post a video called Introduction to Stradivarius by Maestro uh, Peter from the uh, Congress Library in Washington, D.C. This is a conference of an expert violin testing six Stradivarius and one Amati, which was the, the teacher of Stradivarius himself. Right? And uh, he, he explains there that Stradivarius changed the angle of the head, which also happened here also happening here because this has much more angle than this and the, this is a traditional setting and this is the the modification therefore this offers also a different playability and the tension of the string plus I feel a bit contracted this and I tell you one thing check this cypress this is a superb set of cypress 1930, Santos Hernandez Mon guitar, traditional guitar. Let's play a bit with the with the group. And you see what happens when you play with others. Thank you. 
the traditional guitar to this, there is a lot of evolution. Just like Stradivari did that change, as well as other the cylindrical thing you will see in the lecture, is to explain historically also how the music that was composed for certain instruments, thinking of the just of the length of the bow, of the bow with which to play the violin, this bow has a different the arc of the violin, right? Is uh, one thing that is in back time was one way and then now became longer than that. You will see the explanation there. So similarly, as the Paco de Lucia's music requires a different kind of setting, then of course I did learn with the traditional guitars, but I cannot play it anymore, even because of other things. The fretboard made of this modification of the maple fretboard, or a lighter fretboard material, than ebony, is a big thing. First thing was the bridge, because by making it extra flat, became just another thing now. One more thing, which is not to forget, the transmission of sound is because of the bridge. And this has a carbon fiber knot. And the maple bridge, which makes it transmit the sound totally different than the dull bone. This is obsolete. For, in my opinion, but it's an absolute thing. But this was what was in between, in this traditional, I will post the description of this video from, link, from a link from Christie's Gallery in New York, so that you can see which guitar I mean is traditional, the Marcelo Barbero original, that's traditional guitar, flamenco. Then from there it evolved into this by changing the bridge and making this extra flat and with the two different wings, then also I will post this bridge thing, because we need to know in detail, and I cannot tell you everything in one video, otherwise it will become... I have 1,300 videos there, because it's, it's, it's an extensive material to explain. It's a big thing, it cannot be said just in one, but you watch it in the description, I will post these relevant links. And the thing is that the playability that it offers this, plus another tale that traditionally the neck cedar, is only neck, uh, this neck was made only of cedar, and, and this is also dull for the sound, in my opinion. And that's why, and you will see this in the Stradivari, in the Stradivari, that this uh, neck is also of maple, flame maple, this. And that changes as well how you feel the left hand there. So, plus that it has the sound portal and the liberated top. And this liberated top thing, you know, is about this inside internal construction and how to, to make it free this top because of the particular strummings and rhythmical features that we need to play. So you can see there that Maestro Peter, the one given the lecturer, is explaining how different repertory was just thinking to be played in one specific instrument. Therefore, if I will play the traditional flamenco, or just something like these things, and that's one thing. But when I need to play uh, stuff all over the fretboard, when I need to move on the fretboard and feel this hand with the noise sensitivity, that will not give me place to do that. Right? And therefore, that's the evolution, in my opinion, that happens. Right? The traditional guitar, the original Marcelo Barbero guitar. Then he was considered, and in fact, if you read also his biography, which I will post as well, one that I, I compilated there, and then it explains this thing that he was known as the Stradivarius of Lava Pies, which is Lava Pies is the neighborhood in Madrid where he was. Right? And therefore, this is considered to be like how Stradivarius make a change in the modern violin, right? because he also was an official from Amati and then after this training on the bench of workbench of Amati, which that teacher there is explaining this with the six Stradivarius, he's testing six different Stradivarius, not just one, six. And explaining why each one is different from different periods and how, how the angle of the head changed also everything. Considering that this is glued to the, the bridge is glued to the top, I suppose that in the, in the violin is not, and probably that's why, this is just a guess, I'm not saying, 
it is, but one guess is that guitars are apparently less uh, lifespan, probably 100 years. You can play guitar from 100 years, stories or something, and you feel that this is there, but it's probably declining. And the Stradivarius violins, or the Jesuit one and those ones there, after almost 400 years, <laughs> they're, they're like, like new, <laughs> which were made with maple, also like this. So for me, the, the finest, finest thing which would, would be considered like the Stradivarius of, of flamenco guitars, now is this. Why? Because it does have objective differentiation factors which were included that were not before ever made in Spain, before they made it. So that's why this is considered as an artwork and it does not have less work violin making than guitar. Probably it's more difficult to have a guitar made because here it has more parts than violin. As I was here speaking, right? And well, this is all technical facts, but the thing is that it changes, it changes everything, right? Because after they came other, other players, the Paganini and different masters, who changed it, reinvented the technique of the instrument, and then another characteristics or playability or different depth or stuff about the bridge in the violin happened. There, you can see specifically. I'm not a violin expert, but I like I like the magic of the of the instruments, priceless instruments being made. And for me, it's, it is also priceless. And I do consider this as an as an, as an value, of course, because it's very precious, right? It's irreplaceable uh, instruments. And that is the evolution. That's what you ask about this evolution thing. So this is the traditional, and then this, which offers. A total change to the to the normal common guitar, and that is because of the features which can be objectively proven. Right? It's not just some opinion thing or I dream is that no no no. It has to offer something different that the other guitar didn't offer. Just like for example, this is a traditional guitar. And we are comparing here guitars which are this one is a very excellent top of the top traditional guitar that has the rosewood bridge and the ebony fretboard. And just because of that, which was not liberated top since this one is five years ago, then also the sound portal, it makes a very contracted sound. If you just see how this sound with the groove. That's a big, big change of the instrument. And in fact, it's very personal choice, but you're asking me my opinion, and I'm telling you, that's how I see the, the evolution right, coming. And it remembers me of this thing about the study values, because he's great, but why he's great? To know that, we have to have a lot of knowledge of that. So what's that description? And yeah, this is the, the finest sound of flamenco, flamenco guitar, which is excluding every, every male aspect of it. And here we are not talking about negra guitars. This is the purest flamenco guitar, also, in the sound of it. So, I hope this will clarify your question and satisfy you. And you're free to ask anything. This is very much fun, that people love guitar and want to know more about it every day. By the hour they want to know another thing and, and explore and these curiosities is, is giving them big joy, like it gives to me this magic instruments and, and the magic that it has, what is behind the, an instrument, right? regarding its objective quality and all that. Thank you and I see you next time.